What's going on YouTube? Good call six here. Um, I'll say this, but it's it's been probably what two and a half, three weeks since I made my last video. Um, got the the beard going still. Tomorrow it's getting cut off though, so figured I'd make a video before it all gets a uh, cut off for you guys. Um, I have three PC cards to show today, uh, and I also did a few blaster boxes. Uh, not blaster boxes, but uh, like rack packs of some basketball so yeah um kind of want to talk about the draft pretty excited about it oj howard he was one of the top guys i wanted oj howard jamal adams were like the t t two top guys that i wanted i knew there was no chance that jamal was gonna drop um i didn't think oj would drop either but he did drop and he slid right to the bucks i was worried that they were gonna go dalvin over him but um they stuck with the plan and, and went oj so uh, I think OJ is going to be a really, really good tight end for the Bucks. That offense should be pretty crazy. Him, e even with him, Cameron Brait, um, Deshaun, Mike, and then uh, the third round pick, Chris Godwin. That offense should be pretty crazy this year, I think. So, good times to be a Tampa Bay Buck fan. Uh, second pick, kind of, I thought they kind of reached on him. Uh, he's a pretty big hidden safety, Justin Evans out of Texas A&M. Uh, what up, Ben? Um... I know my buddy, who's also a Bucks fan, was really high on him, but he did most. He does a bunch of mock drafts and stuff, and he he uh, most of his mock drafts he had Justin Evans, I think, in the late second, third round. So I guess they're in the middle of the second, so it's not too big of a reach. But they really needed a safety help. Uh, Chris Godwin gonna add some speed to the Bucks to uh, to the offense, so that's a really nice pickup. I really wanted him in the later rounds if they didn't go anyone in the first or second round. So. Actually, I think Godwin was supposed to go in the second round. Um, I traded back into the third round to get Kendall Beckwith, who was supposed to be a really good uh, linebacker. He'll end up probably uh, competing for the job of Sam linebacker next to Quan and uh, Levante. So uh, if he pans out and comes back from that injury, it should be a pretty good pickup there for the third rounder. Uh, didn't have a fourth rounder because they traded that to get um, Beckwith. Fifth rounder, Jeremy McNichols. Uh, he looks pretty like he's gonna be a pretty solid addition nice hands scored 27 touchdowns in college this year from Boise State Dougie's alma mater so I don't I think they're probably gonna stick with Dougie it sounds like uh, they're really happy with how he how he's handled himself ever since he got getting busted with the drug suspension so he looks pretty pretty lean compared to what he used to too uh, just like he did two years ago when he uh, uh, ran for second in the league in rushing so um then the last one big stevie i don't know how to pronounce his last name but at a usc six round pick uh good run stuffing guy it sounds like so yeah all of them should make the roster and do pretty well i think so um pe uh, bought some tickets to go to a game this year uh what up dave uh we're gonna go to a vikings game in minnesota week three so Pretty excited for that, and of course we get to see Dalvin Cook. Hopefully he doesn't get a run all over Tampa Bay. So, all in all, I was pretty happy with the draft. Pretty crazy when I was pretty shocked at a few of the picks. Uh, Trubinsky, <laughs> Niners got away with high, highway robbery on that. I couldn't believe, I figured the Titans were going to go wide receiver, but I didn't think they'd do it at five. But I guess it was probably a good thing that they did. But I think Corey Davis is going to be good. Uh, five just seemed a little rich for me. But if they're going to wait till 18 to pick a running back or a wide receiver, he's probably going to be gone. So good thing they did that. Uh, once OJ started sliding, I didn't, I was getting so excited for it. Malik Hooker started sliding too. Uh, I thought maybe he would have been in it for the Bucks, But Ryan, Colt snagged him. Um, if, most of the teams seemed like they had pretty good drafts. Bears didn't do very good, I don't think. I don't think Trubinsky is going to be very good. Um, I've been saying Mahomes... I think Mahomes is going to be the best in this draft. I, early in the process, I didn't know why he wasn't up, up with some of the talk with the the other receipt or running or quarterbacks. But um, he ended up going pretty high. Sean Watson, um, yeah, just a, a crazy fun draft. So uh, enough of that rambling. We'll get into the cards if that's what you want to see. Um, I said I opened some basketball. With Dave, he's been picking up a whole bunch of basketball lately. Kind of making me look every now and then at what not to uh, sun stuff to buy. But um, bought a few blast or rack packs that had it at the Walmart. Haven't I bought them out? So 
Um, we got a whole bunch of rookies. I don't know some of these guys, but if anyone's interested, let me know. A whole bunch of guys. Um, got some refractors. This stuff is awesome looking. It's like I'm on crack now because I, I keep going out to Walmart to see if they have any and they don't have any. So um, just keep hoping they have. I've been looking at buying more. Uh, the retail, this stuff, stuff is pretty fun to open. So you uh, nice Yao Ming insert. These are all the refractors. So, um, and then the pretty the bigger highlights of the the box or the packs, I guess. I got a lot LeBron James silver refractor. Uh, LeBron James purple refractor. Actually got an autograph. Uh, Alan Anderson. Never heard of the guy, but always nice pulling uh, autographs out of retail. These are supposed to be really short printed. Um, they call them these. They're they're X Factor looking, but they're calling them checkerboards of Damian Jones. You got on the back checkerboard. So, um, and then I was, this is kind of what I was looking for, just to pull a, a, one of the top guys, a Ben Simmons rookie card. So, this will actually sell for like 15 bucks on eBay. So, all in all, not too shabby, I don't think. And like I said, I kind of want to open some more of that. So, um, now into the PC stuff. Uh, Picked this up about a week and a half ago. Got it on a cheap buy now. I'm trying to pick up Josh Dotson Contenders. Just because all this stuff is, is so cheap right now. Um, but this is the variation sideways one. Uh, playoff ticket number to 49. Haven't picked up much of him lately. Uh, I got a redemption in. I got this in a package, Christmas package from 2-4 Nathan Elk. And it finally came in. I don't know why it took four months. Because it was live uh, when he sent it to me. Because two or three of them sold uh, before the redemption that he bought for me. So, really excited to get this one in. Um, work done. And on the back, Dougie Martin. So, passing in torches, pretty sweet cards. Uh, I don't know why this, there's foil on this side and not foil on this side. But, nonetheless, pretty awesome card. Uh, number to 25. My second passing the torch. So... Try to pick up as many of those as I possibly can. One sold the other day that I spaced out on. But uh, and then the lastly, the big Kahuna that I got uh, with my eBay bucks. I really want wanted I had, some of my top ones. So Jameis uh, were a Chrome autograph, a Contenders autograph, uh, the Prism tie dye which I already had. Those were kind of my top Jameis wants that I've um, and I had had a decent amount of eBay bucks. Uh, just hanging around hadn't spent it been a few weeks and I was just kind of getting antsy to buy something uh, there's a few of these up through an offer and on a few people still wanted crazy crazy money so um, ended up making a deal I paid more than what they actually go for but I had eBay bucks so it wasn't all out of pocket which was nice so um, really excited to get this one in even though I was disappointed that it needs a new case uh, this is a 2015 tops chrome Famous Jameis, uh, Refractor Autograph, BGS 9510. So, pretty nice subs. Two 10s, a 9.5, and a 9. 10 centering, sweet, I thought. So, this one, there's a couple offers that I had sitting for the same price. Uh, this one had better subs, so I just went ahead and pulled the trigger on this one. So, like I said, it does have a, hopefully I don't close out, okay. It does have a little, where is it, right here, little scratch in the case which really kind of makes me mad but I have to send this in to get recased um number two 150 his uh base base autographs are super super short printed so they sell for quite a bit more than what this one actually does so yeah exciting time to get that in uh it's ready for football season to start can't wait. Cannot wait. They are on hard knocks, so I get to watch them even more this year. So, yeah. Um, it's an exciting time right now for me, I suppose. Um, nothing else coming in. Bought a few things tonight on eBay. Had a uh, raffle win that I was hoping to come in this week to show in this video, but a uh, guy ended up sending it to the wrong person, so that's going to be delayed a little bit. So, other than that, hope everyone's doing well. Uh, let me know how your guys' teams, how you how you like their draft, if you liked it at all. Um, other than that, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.